Hello, and welcome to episode number one of KTBR in the days of COVID-19. You might be wondering, what's KTBR? KTBR stands for Keep the Business Running. And my name is Gretchen Asher, and I have been a change management expert for nearly three decades. And for the last decade plus, I have been leading change management teams remotely all across the world. And given our current environment of shelter in place, we, we all are working from home. And I want to share my expertise and things that I've learned about working remotely uh, over the past decade and keeping business going and leading teams remotely. In today's short video, the number one best thing to do now that everyone is working from home around the world is to move from audio conference calls to video conference calls. It is the absolute number one best thing to do, whether you're on Skype or WebEx or BlueJeans or Teams uh, or Zoom. Well, if you're with Zoom, you're probably already doing video conferencing, but all of these platforms uh, have video capability. Uh, hopefully you can convince your company to add the video feature if you don't already have it. But I recommend the number one best thing to managing teams and working remotely is to go to video conferencing. Um, and for those of you who might be new to working remotely, you're thinking, oh no, Gretchen, please don't say that. I don't want to be seen on video. Um, I have to just kind of be tough and say, get over it. It is really important to uh, coalesce as a team uh, and, and working via video conferencing is the best thing to do that. So don't be, don't be camera shy. You, you need to participate with your group and you know, you only have to, dress on top and then you can be in your sweats and your bunny slippers down below um what it does uh and we don't know how long uh we're all going to be working remotely due to the coronavirus but it is the number one best thing to do in order for people to feel engaged and still participating this will be a big uh, a big switch for a lot of people because they are not accustomed to working at home and they and people can feel like they're not part of the group anymore video conferencing helps with that uh, not too long ago i i led a team uh to implement change management on a massive uh, project for a client that integrated the operations between Western and Central and Eastern Europe. And once we moved to video conferencing, what I noticed was number one, uh, the teams were engaged. When we all came to the meeting, there was no multitasking uh, because we could see. Uh, and people across all, Europe, all over Europe really started to gel and we, our meetings were way more productive, have, oh, have always been way more productive via video conferencing. So that is my number one tip today is move from audio conferencing to video conferencing as soon as you can. And I will see you in episode two coming soon. In the meantime, if you have any questions, shoot me some questions. You can click on the link to a quick survey below, or you can direct message me via LinkedIn, and I will be happy to answer some of your remote working questions or how do you manage change management remotely uh, in a future video. Hang in there, stay safe. I am the Change Whisperer.